Well, Dave, what did this morning do to push this team in the right direction? You feel? Just go out and clear our minds, work hard. Um, that's you know that's a, that's a uh, that's the best approach. Uh, coming off of a night last night where we got our noses rubbed in it pretty good. You, uh, after a night like that, is it better just to flush it, or do you spend a lot of time going over the film with the group? We didn't do much video today. I mean, there's, you know, we uh, we did a, you know, we did a couple, a couple quick clips, um, and that's it. And really, just you know, uh, and to be blunt, with you know, just about our our readiness and our our mentality, uh, especially in the early part of this hockey game. So, you know, sometimes there's pieces of video that can address that and and are worthwhile. But the biggest piece is just getting out and working uh, on uh, on the things that we wanted to touch on. Is that part of being a pro hockey player? I'm sure a lot of them know what went wrong yesterday. Yeah, everybody, you know, everybody knows, but you got to be able to, you know, collectively, you got to be able to flush it out the right way, uh, and then, you know, and make sure, you know, you're not just flushing it. Like you've got to be able to, uh, you know, apply it, um, and and take something away from it that makes you better as as a team. I mean, everybody's been through it before, but you know, you have to take something and make it a valuable. Uh, make it a valuable part of your season. It's painful as hell. Um, so, if you can make it of you know of, of value and get better because of it, then it becomes you know it, it you know it becomes a an important part of the season. Take it a look. Uh, you, you mentioned last night that the team sometimes tries to offense its way to victory and can get it into trouble. What what is it you think makes them at times abandon some of the system and the play that got them here? You know, to begin with? if I. Can, I, you know, to be blunt, you know, we we found some success that way over the past. Uh, you know, you look over the past six weeks. There's there's some there's some games where we we got away with it for better, you know, for lack of better term, right? We were able to offensively get ourselves through games and 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 you know come away with two points, um, and that's just not reality, you know. Especially, I mean, you look at you know our last two games are really good examples. Right, these are, you know, these are games in the middle of the year that have playoff implications, um, and you know there is, you know, there is no way to to skill your way to two points. That's, you know, our group is a workmanlike group. We're we're a lunch pail group, um, and we're a real good hockey team when we have that approach for 60 minutes. Taking a look at some of the changes here for today, what's your first impression on uh, Tolby and how he's fit in so far, and maybe what he's ready here for this uh, first game maybe coming up here? Yeah, I mean we just you know we've been able to get Tolby on a on a line, um, you know several of the last practices, and that's you know that's that's really important for him. Um, you know he, he thinks he can think the game, right? He thinks the game well. He's, he's uh, his puck skills are good. His playmaking ability is good. Um, you know, I know his shot is is at an elite level. You know, that's a hard thing to judge in practice. I don't really need to judge that through practice. So, it's just another good opportunity for him to get in a you know a short but full work day. Dave, would you say? I mean, it looks like personnel wise, lines looked a little different today. Even PK looks a little bit different. Yeah, I can't I can't remember where we ended up last night. So I don't know if that's a change from last night or not. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Well, now I lost my question. Um, no, I, I mean, good, good. This, I did a good job there. Yeah. Does, this, does, this feel, does this feel like a time where um, you, you want to make a lot of changes? To see if Not a lot of changes. I mean, we, we obviously, we, you know, we, we tweaked a couple of things today. But, you know, as I said, we, we did. We, you know, we shuffled a lot of things last night, um, you know, that, you know, we likely won't start with tomorrow. Um, but we wanted to, you know, put a couple different combinations together. Again, nothing drastic, uh, but we shifted some wingers, um, you know, and we had really, you know, in reality, we had 20 minutes of, you know, basically 20 minutes of, of you know, any type of line work really out there. So, you know, what we saw today isn't necessarily set in stone for tomorrow, um, but we did want to look at a couple different combinations, and, and we've seen them all before, right? Every one of those combinations that you saw out there, other than probably one we've seen before. Well, last night you talked about the net front defense and particularly the tendency to maybe leave guys unmarked in front of the net. I mean, what goes into <coughs> fixing that? Is it watching film? Is something you do in practice? Yeah, no, we were we stunk last night, and we we weren't very good against Calgary in the third period. Um, so that's all part of that mentality of getting back to the to the lunch pail. Uh, hockey and the mentality because it's 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 an area of strength of ours, um, you know, in terms of the number of opportunities that we give up from the slot, 
Um, that's you know that's not just been a trait of our group over this year, but really you know last year as well. Um, you know, being being difficult uh, to play against in that area is critical, and we we haven't been good there, especially the last couple of games. So um, that's just a that's just a switch that uh, has to come back on, and we got to get back to it. With, with Grubauer, is it important to get him back in there quickly tomorrow, just so he can try to build some rhythm off of what he did against Calgary? Uh, you know, I, I mean, we'll I'll have a starting goaltender for you tomorrow, but yeah. you know, I'll go back to you know we we really feel like we got both guys. Um, and you know, last night, last night is a um, you know that's that's a hectic game for any goaltender to play. You know, Gruby starts and uh, he's got no chance on the first two. The third one, I said, is you know it's a it's a shot that we need to save on right to to stay in that hockey game. Um, so that's a I can't imagine a tougher way for a goaltender to have to start a game and then. You know, Jonesy comes in, and one of the first shots he sees is, you know, a guy alone at net with, you know, with nobody around him, right? And that's the way his night starts off. So uh, we've got both guys that, you know, really, honestly, we have both guys that we have good confidence in. Um, and uh, whichever guy goes in tomorrow night, it's going to be an important night for us. Um, and, you know, the reality is we play every second night plus from here on in over the next two weeks. So both these guys are going to be busy. We've noticed Trigger's been working out. Is there any update on his progress? Yeah, no, just he's he's right on track. There's no change in his, you know, uh, in his timeline. Um, you know, I believe everybody's happy with the progress he's making, and he's he's right on track to, to what we have, we had thought it would be. For guys that aren't necessarily lunch paling, what, what's your pain threshold generally? In other words, would you jolt the lineup at some point with a scratch if like how? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, he's, you know, you saw some, you saw some guys sitting, you know, last night, um, you know, for for better parts of the third period. Um, you know, the first thing for me is trust in this group. So we start there, right? We start with that trust. Um, guys have earned that. Guys have built that. Um, you tack onto that leadership uh, that's uh, that's pushing the right way and and commanding uh, the right things in the dressing room. Um, and then, you know, at the end of the day, uh, yeah, there's there's different ways to, to get messages across. And if guys need to come out of the lineup, they come out of the lineup. Um, if they need to if they need to sit and miss shifts, they sit and miss shifts. Um, but first and foremost, um, the strength of our group has been that uh, you know the, the trust uh, that guys have built in uh, that they're going to do the right things. But at the end of the day, if things aren't going right, the next guy has to go out there. Vince, I'm not out there today. Is that a maintenance day for me? Yes, maintenance day for Vince. Yeah. Good. Thanks. Thanks, Good. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.